swatch video of a ton of new Makeup Geek products that came out. These are the duochrome as well as some of the new matte shadows. I know they're coming out with duochrome pigments as well, but I don't think that they have sent those to us yet. So these are the new matte, these are the new duochrome. I have a tutorial coming up with the duochrome as well as a tutorial coming up with the matte ones, which is what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm wearing this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and shark bait. I was gonna do this, but I decided I wanted something a little bit deeper, but using quite a bit of them and I love them. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna show you some swatches. So we're gonna start with the matte ones and the matte shadows from Makeup Geek are some of my all-time favorites. They're creamy, they're buttery, they don't have fallout. They blend really nicely. I just, I love them. This is the palette I have. These are my like two first palettes of Makeup Geek stuff. 90% of these I purchased with my own money and then I got on a PR list with Makeup Geek so I get the new products to show you guys. But I have purchased probably this whole palette with my own money. If you watch some of my older videos, I have two Makeup Geek videos from a long time ago where I showed a bunch of swatches. So I'll link those down below. They're older videos, um, but that shows you how much I love them that I've invested quite a bit of money into Makeup Geek stuff. So um, I am on their PR list, so these were sent to me for free, but I have purchased many, many, many Makeup Geek shadows. So as you can see, a lot of them are very, very well loved. So these new matte ones are no exception to the great quality that they've they've always been. So we're gonna go through here and I'm gonna show you all of the new matte ones. So this first one is called Mirage and it's a beautiful kind of buttery yellow color, which I don't know if I have anything like this in a matte in my collection. I do have a kind of shimmery one from MAC, but nothing quite like this. So it's a really pretty, this one almost seems like it has a tiny bit of a satin sheen to it. Um, I wouldn't even say it's completely matte, but it's a beautiful buttery yellow. And that one is Mirage. The next one, which I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of, is Confection, and this is a really pretty kind of mauve light pink matte, and this one is going to be so beautiful on the lid, in the crease. This one's probably not gonna show up too well because it is a very, very light pink. Oh, you can see it. It's a beautiful pastel pinky mauve color. Very dusty, I love that color. This is another one I know I'm going to get a ton of use out of, and this one is called Petal Pusher. This is like my favorite color of life right now. It's a beautiful mauve, it's a dusty pinky mauve color. This one is going to be beautiful all in the crease. This would be beautiful on the lid. I just, I think these two colors right here, Petal Pusher and, what was this one, Confection, are gonna be very, very popular. But this one is just beautiful. It's a perfect, perfect mauve color. So that one is Petal Pusher. The next one, I actually have this one on in my crease as well as Petal Pusher. This one is called Carnival and it's a brighter, kind of lavender pink color. I think this one is a beautiful, beautiful color. It's very wearable, even though it's a little bit brighter. It's a really wearable, purpley lavender shade. Absolutely love it. Or I guess it's a little bit more of an orchid shade versus a lavender shade, but it's so stunning. So this one is Carnival and I'm wearing this one today too. Another one that I am wearing today is called Cherry Cola. This again is another one of my favorite colors. It matches my hair. It's just that beautiful burgundy color. This is going to be fantastic for fall. I would love to do a look using this all over the lid. So if you'd like to see this in a tutorial as a lid color, uh, comment down below and like this video and I'll be more than happy to do that because I think that'd be really, really beautiful for like a deep vampy smoky eye. So if you're interested, let me know. And that one is Cherry Cola. I'm also wearing this one, and this one is called Motown, and this is a deep purple. It's like a, kind of like a royal purple. And this one is beautiful. I'd love to do a smoky eye with this all over the lid too. So if you're interested in some deeper smoky eyes with one of these colors, let me, let me know and I will do a tutorial on that. I also wanna do one with this. This one is called Enchanted Forest, and it's a deep emerald green. Or it's actually more of like a hunter green. That was my parents' wedding colors, hunter green and burgundy. <laughs> so this is beautiful. I cannot wait to use this one. So this one is Enchanted Forest, a beautiful hunter green. This next one is called Bedrock, and this is a really cool toned kind of um, slate color. That's the best way to describe it. It kind of reminds me of MAC Copper Plate, and it's so, this is so creamy. This would be a really fun tutorial too. So really pretty slate kind of aluminum color, tin color. I like that one a lot too. 
and that one was Bedrock. This one is called Stealth, and I think this is from the per Permanent line, but it's a beautiful, darker kind of, um, a little bit darker of a gray than Bedrock. This one has a little bit more of blue tones in it, I think, a little bit of a bluer shift in it. And then the last one is called Dragonfly, and it's this beautiful, bright, vibrant teal. It is a different color than what's on my lid. I have shark bait from their permanent line on my lid, but this is beautiful. It was just a little brighter than what I was going for. But you easily could use this instead of shark bait. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and so pigmented. So that one is Dragonfly. Okay, so now we're going to move into the duochromes. Now there's some of them that I like more than others, some of them that I feel are a little bit better payoff. Some of them I just don't feel are super duochrome -y, but there are quite a few that are really, really beautiful. So the first one is this color here, and this is called I'm Peachless. And this is a, it's kind of like a peachy shadow with a yellowish pink shift to it. And some of these really are hard to see the duochrome in. Like this one is very, 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 very light. And I don't even know if my camera will pick it up because it's seriously so subtle. So this would be a good topper, a uh, good topper eyeshadow. I don't know how well this one would work like on its own. I don't think you're gonna get a lot of payoff, um, but it's a really pretty topper, topper shadow. Okay, another one, which I have this coming up in a tutorial as a like, um, spotlight color on the center of my eye. This is called Backlight, and this one's beautiful. It's like a pinky purple, bluish duochrome. And this is another one that I think makes a good topper for like a spotlight eye versus all over the lid because it just isn't super, super pigmented, but you can see it has like a purpley pink and then a blue shift to it. So it's really, really pretty. This one I like using as a topper and I actually top it over this shadow here called Secret Garden. And this one is like a blue-green duochrome or like a purple-green duochrome. Now this one is stunning all over the lid. So in a tutorial coming up, if it's already up, I'm gonna link it down below. But I have this color all over the lid with this in the, as like a spotlight color. And so this just has a really beautiful blue-green purple duochrome. But this topped over this is stunning. So I really, really like that one. I think Secret Garden is definitely worth it um, for you guys to get. Another beautiful color is called Havoc. And this is a like green, yellow, blue kind of shift to it. This one reminds me a little bit of Blue Brown Pigment, if you guys are familiar with that. Or I know they have a, pig, Makeup Geek has a pigment that is very similar. So as you can see there, it's got green and then it has like this warm reddish brown duochrome to it. So it's really pretty. So if you were into those colors, I think this is a great one for fall. Now I have a tutorial coming up with this color and this color is a must have, I, I feel. And it's ritzy and this is a yellow green duochrome. This is stunning all over the lid with some warm browns in the crease. This one is definitely um, a must have for me and you'll see it next to Secret Garden. It definitely is a more yellow green. See how this is a yellow green? This is more of a blue brown. So this is like a blue brown shift. This is a yellow green shift. So if you are into the more yellowy greens, this one is a great one. And this one is Ritzy. This one's Secret Garden. And this one has a more blue brown pigment type of shift. This is a more yellowy green. And I love this all over the lid. It's absolutely beautiful. This one, next one is Voltage. And this is a kind of pale gold and it's very, very beautiful. This is beautiful for the inner corner, for just a nice pop in the inner corner. So this kind of just has a yellow, to me it doesn't really have much of a duochrome, it's just a really pretty like yellow gold shimmery shadow. I don't really see much of a duochrome in it, but that's voltage and that's stunning for the inner corner. This next peach one is called Mai Tai, and this one is like a peach and a pink duochrome. This one is not a super um, intense shift like some of the other ones. To me this, like I can see a little bit of the pink. I don't even know if my camera will pick it up. I just see a, a really pretty shimmery peach shadow. I don't see a whole lot of duochrome in this one. And that one is Mai Tai. Still really pretty though for peach shadow. Okay, the next one is called Phantom. And this is a really pretty, almost like white 
with a pinky purple duo chrome. This is another one I think will be great for highlighting the brow bone or um, inner corner. If you use a really good sticky base, I think this will be a really cool lid color. It's very, very bright, but I think that you could do like some cool looks with that. So if you're interested in seeing the tutorial with Phantom, let me know because I'm kind of digging the way that it's pulling this like really bright pink. It's like a pinky purple and a white shift. So I really like that one. If you want to see a tutorial, leave a comment down below with any of the colors you would like to see in a tutorial. This next one is called Steampunk. <laughs> And it's a really pretty bronze and I you know I'm a sucker for bronze shadows so this one is kind of like a blackened bronze so you kind of get like a almost like a dark black with a bronze shift but pretty much it is just a bronze shadow I don't see a whole lot of duochrome in this one and that one's steampunk it's still really pretty just don't see a whole lot of duochrome now this color I actually paired with Ritzy in my tutorial coming up and this one is called Karma and it's a really beautiful and this pairs so great with that yellowy gold duochrome shadow. So this one's kind of like a yellow green duochrome. Really, really beautiful. And this one again is Karma. Another one I got is Rockstar. And I think Rockstar is part of their permanent line. But this is kind of like a gray. And I know it has like a tiny bit of a pink sheen to it. But to me, it's... it's not very duochrome -y. so this one's karma i'm pretty sure that's part of the permanent line and then the last one is this really pretty green called typhoon and i'm just a sucker for greens lately and to me this doesn't have a whole lot of duochrome to it it's just a really beautiful shimmery green so that one is typhoon so if you were wanting like a recommendation of like my opinion of must-have colors i would definitely suggest carnival Cherry Cola, Motown, um, Confection, and Petal Pusher. Those I think are must have colors. Uh, as far as the duochromes, Ritzy is a must have. I think that's a very, very unique color. This one, Secret, which one was this one called again? Havoc. Havoc is pretty, but I feel like it's very similar to Blue Brown Pigment and it's very similar to Club. Uh, it's not as unique to me, but Ritzy, I haven't seen anything like that. I think that one is a really beautiful one. I also think Karma is a must-have. If you don't have uh, their foiled shadow, I don't remember what it's called, but Secret Garden is really pretty if you don't have the foiled shadow that is similar to this. I've done a tutorial using that. And I also think that this one is going to be really fun, Backlight. And, and the other one that's kind of neat is Phantom. So those are some recommendations from me on which ones I think are worth trying out, which ones are a little bit more unique, and kind of my, like, I guess, opinion on the new shadow. So I think there's a lot of really, really great colors, and, you know, I'm a sucker for their matte shadows, and the duochromes are really, really fun. And like I said, there's a tutorial going up on this look, so if it's not up already, make sure you're subscribed and you follow my social media. That way you know anytime new videos are up, and if it is already up, I will have it linked down below. So again, don't forget to subscribe and follow social media. It's all linked down below. It's all up over here. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any requests for tutorials on any of these shadows, leave them in the comments below which color you would like to see a tutorial, if there's a certain color combination, if there's a certain color you wanna see as a lid color or anything like that. Um, let me know because I obviously want to do tutorials that you guys enjoy watching. So I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!